Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be doing this little makeup tutorial and next Monday will be the Q&A on how to attach miniatures. To kick off today we're starting with the NYX Cosmetics Green Base and I'm sorry for being redundant. I say it all the time but if you don't have rosy cheeks or want to keep your rosy cheeks you can always skip this step. I don't want to make you guys feel like you have to do anything in these videos. They're just for fun or for following along but anything is customizable to yourself. This is another option for you if you have dark circles or you're self-conscious about dark circles even if you don't don't have them but it makes you feel better feel free to pop on some peach corrector mine is from NYX cosmetics after that sip of coffee to wake me up i'm going in with the tarte cosmetics rainforest of the sea foundation on a smith cosmetics foundation brush a beauty blender or your fingertips would give you a comparable application i just have been really liking this particular brush for foundation so that's why i decided to go with it today after that's all blended in we are going to make some dumb faces for our instagram <laughs> cover photo. <laughs> I wasn't sure which um, cover photo I was going to do, so I apologize for rolling my eyes back on my head a million times. And to start the eyes, we're going to use the Melt Cosmetics Radioactive Sack on the shade Neon. It's a very pigmented yellow that I'm taking on a fluffy brush that just so happens to be the Zoeva Soft Looks Crease Brush. You could use any brush that you wanted for this, but I chose a fluffy one with malleable bristles so that there weren't any harsh lines just yet. I am taking it at the front of my brow in my crease and I'm also going to put it on the outer corner of my lid. Now next up we're going to be using orange which is going to be papaya from Suva Beauty and the reason I chose orange is because we are doing my Pan Pride signature colors which is going to be yellow, pink, and blue and to make sure that the yellow and pink blend really well which they should blend to orange I'm actually going to put orange down on that Cosette brush first to make sure that there isn't any real trouble blending them. With that color down first, it should be a little bit easier. Once everything is blended with that original Zoeva Soft Lux Crease Brush, we're going to start packing the lid with Melt Cosmetics Radioactive, which is the base of that stack. If you've never tried um, Melt Cosmetics or Suva Beauty eyeshadow formulas before, they are my two favorite eyeshadow formulas and I would really recommend them because they're just wonderful and their owners, owners Laura and Dana from Melt Cosmetics and Shayna from Suva Beauty are just amazing. Once that's all blended super well, I'm going to be taking Suva Beauty Denaru, which is a warm purple shade. It's one of my favorite shades of all formulas and all companies on the Cosette brush on our outer corner just to deepen that pink up and give myself some definition. I think I'm also about to take a Burless Cosmetics brush, which is, here we go, it is, huh? An angled fluffy brush to really get in there. I like the shape of this brush really, really well. And as I use the furless brushes, I'm liking them more and more. Here comes Danessa Myrick's Love Story mixed with Daydreaming on the lid. Daydreaming reflects blue and Love Story reflects pink and green, which is why I chose to mix some blue in there. So the entire look is tied together once I add that blue, which should be coming next. Here we go. It's Sugar Pill Kimchi, which is one of my favorite blues of all time. I also deepened that up with Melt Cosmetics Fixated, which I apologize is not in the video, but you know it's there now and I know it's there. So we should be all good. I flicked that out on my outer corners just to lift my eye shape a little bit before adding Danessa Myrick's Daydreaming. This is just the reflective blue one underneath my eyes to give myself just some good old sparkle. And then I took a Smith Cosmetics 220 with that original Super Beauty Denaru shade to darken my lash line before popping on some Black Magic Lashes. The Black Magic Lashes you can use discount code UV Makeup if you feel like it. Here comes OCC John Doe for my contouring. It's a cream color from them, vegan, and it's super good for pale ghosty people like myself because it's so cool toned that it's almost gray. So it kind of avoids Planet Mustard style if you know what I'm saying. I do warm it up with some Hot Makeup USA bronzer in just a second though. That's a furlish brush by the way, in case you were wondering. And then that bronzer I'm taking from Hot Makeup is also discount code UV Makeup and I'm taking it on a Smith Cosmetics 112 brush. I want to be not dead like ghost white, just on the edge of death, you know? Just a touch of warmth just a little bit. For the highlight, I don't remember what I used, but it's an Anastasia brush and it'll be listed in the caption if you want to check it out. Totally up to you, but any highlight should do just fine. And then for the lips, we're taking OCC Lip Tart and John Doe as well on a lip brush because I would recommend using one with lip tars and that's from NYX Cosmetics. And with that, we conclude the video. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you feel like it and have a lovely Valentine's Day. I want to hear all about it. Goodbye.